Hi guys, it's that time again. Does this hot comic book alert? Episode four hundred and twenty-two. That's a lot. I've got news about a character that has just joined the upcoming Batgirl movie. Yeah, when we rises, Ivory Aquino has joined the cast of the upcoming Batgirl feature film, confirming early reports that she'd appear in the upcoming DC Extended Universe film. The transgender actor will portray Barbara Gordon's best friend and roommate Alicia Yeo. And that's according to Variety. Alicia, who was first introduced in a 2011 issue of Batgirl, written by Gail Simone and penciled by RDN Siaf, is also transgender. Her inclusion in the film will mark the first time that an openly trans character has appeared in a live-action feature film adaptation of a DC title. Here is the actress Ivory Aquino and the character she will be portraying, and that is Alicia Yeo. What more can I tell you about this bit of news? Well, reports of Aquino's casting first surfaced last week when the film's lead, Leslie Grace, posted a photo that appeared to show two women crossing the street on the film set to her Instagram story. And in addition to tagging Aquino, Grace captioned the shot, Barbara and Alicia. Additional photos have leaked from the set in the last few days, also giving fans a first look at Grace wearing a comics accurate version of the Batgirl costume. Now Aquino is probably best known for portraying trans activist Cecilia Chung in 2017's When We Rise, a documentary miniseries about LGBTQ plus rights in the United States. And Aquino's other credits include recurring roles in the television series Blue Bloods, FBI's Most Wanted and New Amsterdam. Now, prior to Aquino's casting as EO, DC has made a massive strides in bro broadening LGBTQ plus representation across several of its television series. The CW, CW Supergirl series, notably including the first transgender superhero on TV, with the introduction of Nicole Maine's Dreamer. While the title's superhero's sister, Alex Danvers, Tyler Lee, came out as a lesbian on season two. Now, the main character in the CW's Batwoman has also been depicted as a lesbian and was portrayed by gender-fluid actor Ruby, Ru Ruby Rose in season one, of course, and by sexual actor Javicelia Leslie in subsequent seasons. Now, other DC properties that have done a good job at diversifying included the animated DC series Harley Quinn and the Margot Robbie-led Birds of Prey film, which both feature storylines involving LG. Uh, BTQ plus characters. Now, while plot details for Batgirl remain scarce, it is previously, previously suggested that the film will draw heavily from 2003's Batgirl Year One by Scott Beatty, Chuck Dixon, Marcos Martin, and Alvaro Lopez. And it has also been confirmed, of course, that Michael Keaton will reprise his role as Batman in the film, and one of my favourite actors, Brendan Fraser, will portray the villainous. Garfield Linz, a.k.a. Firefly. Now, additionally, Batgirl is rumoured to set up a solo film centred on Black Canary. Very interesting. Batgirl will premiere on HBO Max in 2022, and the film does not yet have an exact release date at this time. <coughs> so, Alicia Yeo is the character that we are getting. Here she is again from the comics. And the book in question, guys, is around about 15 to 20 pound on eBay. Go careful. Don't pay those kind of prices. See what you can find out in the wild. It's a book I have looked for in the past, but with no joy. There are three printings. Go careful. The book comes from November of 2011. Here is the first printing. And the first appearance of Alicia Yeo comes in Batgirl, issue one, the new 52. That's your regular first printing. We have the second printing. And of course, the difference with the second printing is the red background. And finally, we have the third printing. And this comes with a purple background. Just something to add to the radar, guys. If you like live action appearances, who knows what kind of role this character will have. But she's definitely on her way. That's does overnight. Bye for now.